remember a time when your opinion was completely different from opinions of majority of people around you. The situation was clear and obvious for you, but then a thought popped up into your mind. Am I right? All those people can be simultaneously wrong. This has happened with me many times. And every time it happens, I remember a tale about Emperor's New Clothes that my mother told me when I was four. Many years ago, there lived an emperor. He loved to be finally dressed so much that he spent all of his money for new clothes. And if you lived in his kingdom, you could see him either in the fitting room where he tried on new clothes, or in a theater where he was showing off his new clothes. One day, two swindlers came into the town. And they said, we are the swindlers, and we can make the finest clothes imaginable. Not only the colors and patterns will be beautiful, but it will have also an amazing property. It will be invisible for those people who are either stupid or unfit for their positions. The emperor thought, it would be wonderful to have a cloth made from that cloth. I would be able to figure out who from my men are not fit are not fit for their positions, and also to tell clever people from the stupid ones. And he gave huge amount of money to the weavers for the clothes. They have set up their looms and pretended to be working. They asked for purest gold, best silk from the emperor, and continued working on the empty looms. The emperor thought, I'd really like to see how the new cloth is coming. I'll send the clever old minister. He is not only clever, but no one in the entire kingdom is a better fit for his position than he is. The minister walked into the hall where the swindlers were working. He looked on the looms. Oh my goodness! I can't see a thing! Am I stupid? I haven't never thought so about myself. Am I unfit for my position? I would never tell anyone that I wasn't able to see anything on the looms. One swindler asked, Minister, isn't the design magnificent? Aren't the colors beautiful? <sighs> magnificent. This color, these patterns, I'll definitely tell the emperor that I'm very satisfied. This makes us happy. The swindlers called the colors and the unusual pattern by name. The minister listened carefully and reported exactly the same to the emperor. The emperor sent new officials to check how the weavers are doing their clothes. All of them were stunned when they realized that they don't see anything. And all of them reported to the emperor. Your majesty, the material is wonderful. The colors are beautiful. You definitely need to wear these clothes for your grand procession. The night before grand procession, the swindlers were not sleeping. They burned 16 candles. And everyone could see that they were in a huge rush to finish their clothes on time. They pretended to take the clothes from the, from the looms. They cut it with huge scissors. They weaved with a needle, but without a thread. And in the morning they announced, The clothes of the emperor are ready. The emperor arrived at the weavers with his most distinguished cavaliers. He took off his clothes and the swindlers handed him the new ones. Here are the trousers. Here is the jacket. Here is your train. The emperor looked into the mirror and turned. Cavaliers, doesn't it fit well? Oh, your majesty, it fits perfectly. The colors are magnificent. Such a luxurious clothes. The chamberlains picked up the train of the emperor, the imaginary train, and he walked along the main street with his grand procession. The people from the street shouted, Wow, 
such a luxurious clothes. The material is beautiful. People from windows shouted, such a great pattern. It's such a beautiful clothes. Everybody was afraid it to be noticed that they are either unfit for their positions or stupid. Then a small five years old girl said, the emperor is naked. The father whispered to his neighbor, listen to the innocent child. The emperor doesn't have anything on. Then more and more people in the crowd started to shout, the emperor doesn't have anything on. And then all together shouted, the king is naked. The king shrugged because he knew that they all were right. But then he thought the procession must go on. He carried himself even more proudly. The chamberlains carried the train beside the king as they were walking along the main street. And they were carrying the train that wasn't there. Russian academic Bakhtar said, the crowd is more stupid than a single person and stops being a set of clever individuals. There is nobody more clever than you, there is no one better than you, there is no one who doesn't make mistakes. And when next time your opinion will be completely different from the opinion of the majority of people around you, believe yourself, because more likely than not you are right. And the king is naked. This is Thoughtsmaster.